Morning guys, how are we doing? Welcome to today's video here on Buzzing Pattaya. And uh, today I thought, well, let's do something completely different, random, uh, something that I guess many of you have probably never even considered doing. However, if you've been to some of the tourist attractions here, you'll see uh, lots of the animals, uh, some of the animals perform shows, etc. Well, this place where I'm gonna go to today is where none of that happens. What they do is they give them back their natural environment and uh, it's a sanctuary. And I'm really happy to go out and do this. I think it's gonna be a really nice video. I think it's gonna be quite interesting to see how the animals actually uh, interact and what goes on. So I thought, well, let's go and do this. So I'm about 35, 45 minutes outside of the city. Now, if this, if this is something that interests you, you know, I keep saying to you guys, when you come out, go out and do different things, explore different things. Uh, they will pick you up from your hotel. They'll bring you out here to the sanctuary. You'll experience what I'm gonna show you today, and then they'll bring you back. So it's a really nice little trip. It's an all-round all trip. You don't have to think about it. Just literally get your ticket, and I'll put the details of their uh, information in the description below. Get your ticket, come out, and uh, experience what I'm gonna do today. Really looking forward to it. I'm an animal lover myself, so to see these animals in a different light, uh, I really am looking forward to it. So let's go take a look at what today has in store for our video on Buzzing Pattaya. All right, so uh, we just had our briefing and uh, the lady there, Nana, really nice lady, really nice lady, very knowledgeable. We're just gonna head over now. If I spin around, we're gonna go over to the elephants. And uh, at the moment, there are seven elephants here and they've been rescued or handed over because people can't take care and uh, it was interesting, the Dush, his name was, was one of the tour guides, said to me that uh, people back in the day used to have the elephants to help them uh, with the fields, doing all the work. And over the years, they passed them down through generation to generation. And uh, because they can't take care of them, they've got nowhere else to go, so they bring them here. So here we are. Just something different, guys. You know, it's only 45 minutes up the road, the, the company will pick you up from your hotel and they'll bring you back. You know, they provide lunch and everything. Loads of photo opportunities. You're gonna get in there, Coots. You're gonna go feed them. So like Coots with me today. Hello, Cap. Hello, Cap. Hello, Cap. Big one, big one. Die, Cap, die, Cap. Me a hand, Cham. Me a hand. Me, me, more. Okay. I'll go. I'll go, Cap. We're gonna sit some bananas. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Cap on. Right, so you're saying to me, each of these places have got uh, feeding stations here and they feed them banana or sugar cane. And what's nice is when you see these the elephants, you know, they're not chained up, they're free to roam around. And uh, the, the interesting information that I was talking about was when you come here, is that stand in front of the elephant always or to the side of his ear, there, don't go any further away. Uh, elephants hearing is extremely good, but their eyesight is not as good as uh, we imagine. So of course, if they know something's around them and they can't see it, they're naturally gonna turn around and uh, you might be having them tread on your toes, which uh, you wouldn't wanna do. Come on, Coops, get in there. Coops with me today, he's, he's, uh, he's got his tourist hat on. <laughs> in case you don't know who Coops is, if you're on our Discord group, uh, Buzzing Irish Aussie, that's his name. and. Uh, so you've got here, look, one, two, three, four, five, there's quite a few. And uh, I'm just, oh look down there, look, there's a couple down there. And like I say with these tour groups, I'll put all the information in the description below, but basically they'll pick you up, bring you up here. Uh, they explain about the elephants. Uh, Nana was very good, she explained all about everything. You look nervous there, Coops, you look nervous. Right, let's get a, uh, let's have a go, shall we? Oh, sorry. I'm gonna do this, I think. I don't know if you guys have been up to see things like this. There's a few, they got uh, Phuket, Chiang Mai. Did they say they had one in Bangkok? Is it Phuket, Chiang Mai, Bangkok as well? Right. I don't know what you're saying. Uh, I don't know how you're asking Ty whether it's a female or a male because Puying is girl. Well, I suppose, yeah, I suppose the same thing. Pick up. P. Chang Puying Puchai. Puying Puchai. Puying. Yeah. Female. Yeah, female, yeah. Well, the reason I was asking is because you can see the boobs, but she's got a beard. 
Reminds me of somebody who goes back in England. <laughs> right, let's do one of these. Oh, no, we'll let, let them all down. There must be a... No, no, it's all right. I'll let them all down. Let them, let them, let them get their, their moment of glory. Oh. Yeah, she's got a beard. Right, let's spin the camera around a second right there. All right, so she's got... Yeah, good how they've done that. So she's got the uh, pineapple. And actually took the top of it down there, see all the bottoms? It's fair play, isn't it? Hello, take photo. Okay, Camilla, please, one. And when you come up here, uh, the photographer walks around and takes all the photos for you. Right. All right, let's, uh, here we go. Thank you, Camilla, please, one, two. There we one, go. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Okay, so we're not. She just snorted over me. She just snorted over me. I can't believe it. And this, this, <laughs> I can't believe she just snorted over me. Man, why does it only happen to me? Right, let's get everyone over here. I can't believe that because she just snorted over me. And I gave it, probably because I only gave her one banana. <laughs> I only gave her one banana. Thinking bloody tight kit. I can't believe the elephant just snorted over me. Uh, right, let's have one over here. I can't. I can't believe that. <laughs> Only happens to me. Right. I'm going to try a pineapple this time, Coops. If you if you video it, just just point the camera at me, mate, please. And uh, that's what you got. Just hold it. That's fine. Yeah, come in close, mate. Come in. Right. If I get snotted on again, I'm not going to be happy. It's incredible to think these animals are so powerful, yet so gentle. Hang on. See, if I didn't think I'd get in trouble, I'll just shove that basket under there for her and let her fill, her, fill your boots. There you go. I wonder how much they weigh. Beautiful. And later on, in a bit, we're going to go swim. Oh, yeah, look, look. <laughs> no, you're in trouble now. Look, look, you're in trouble now. You can't go eating all of them. Fair play. But yeah, later on we're going to um, go swim. Well, not swim, but we're going to go bathe them in the mud bath. We've we got to go and get changed. I mean, although I'm going to keep this t-shirt on now because you just snotted over me. <laughs> I, can't believe, I can't believe that. But uh, So we get changed and then we're going to go in the mud bath with them. There's a lot of people up here. And the ticket prices, all the information is down below. So if you do want to do these, they'll pick you up from your from your hotel residence, bring you out here. Like I say, it's only a 35, 40 minute journey. They'll bring you up here and then you can interact with the elephants. But yeah, going back to what I was saying, some of them rescued from uh, some of the, the uh, tourist attractions from, the, from, the, from places that have been shut down. And uh, like they say, back in the day, these were a method of well, like a tractor, I guess, a, a, an animal version of a tractor. And over the years, they passed them down. If you remember Bang Chang, who's been to Bang Chang? Bang Chang, they used to have an elephant walk around all the bars. You'd be sitting there in the evening, having a few beers, and suddenly an elephant would walk past you in Bang Chang. They're beautiful, aren't they? They really are. So big. Right, let's have another go. Go. Right, hey, let's get a banana. Oh. Right. There we go. No snotting on me, okay? Oh, let, let, let you know. There you go. There you go. Right, I'm going to get out of the way in case she blows her nose on me. Right. It's a big area they've got. And the kids feeding them. Yeah, I watched the pineapple. Watch this. If they give the pineapple, watch this. The last elephant took the pineapple and somehow managed to bite the top off and eat the pineapple. Yeah, let's see what he does. Hold on. Yeah, look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Look, now they're going to toss it down. That's brilliant. That's clever, isn't it? I like that. I didn't think they had teeth. I thought they just had the like tusks and stuff. I didn't know they had actual teeth. Yeah, I like 
So they eat the actual banana skin, but they won't eat. Oh, look, he's got another pineapple. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. So you're going to take the bit and spit the bit out. Yeah. Make sure you don't take your arm. And when you come up here, uh, you have to sign a disclaimer to say that uh, you're able to be photogra uh, photographed, and videoed, etc. But you can see it's a big area. It's a big area. There's a lot going on here. Right, so we're going to spend about an hour just wandering around doing this. And uh, let's go and look over there. Then we're going to go and do the, uh, the mud bath. When you come up here, you need to bring a towel, bring a towel and some footwear that you can go into the lake with. I don't know what the lake looks like. I've not been here before, so I don't know. But we are in, we are, if you used to come out of, I'll tell you where we are. If you know Mapachan Lake, if you head over Mapachan Lake, head up towards the 36 and go straight over, straight over the 36, then uh, you'll eventually come up to this area here. It's beautiful. And to think, you know, when you look at this, we're talking, this is only a matter of 30 minutes away from the city center. So from the heart of all the entertainment zones, just around the corner is all of this. And I'm guessing that that's a, that's a casualty of the elephant. <laughs> He's a munch on that. And we're also, I'm not quite sure what she meant by it, but we'll, we'll find out. They're gonna show you what they do with elephant dung. I'm not, I'm not quite sure what they do with it, but anyway, um, they're gonna show us what they do with elephant dung. They make stuff out of it. All right, so I'll be back in a bit. I'm gonna have a wander around, have a play with the dog, but play with the dogs, uh, play with the elephants, and uh, then we're gonna go and do the uh, the mud bath and go from there. So uh, so far so good, apart from the uh, shirt. Yeah, I can't believe that. They flipping snotted on me. <laughs> okay, right, back in a bit. So joining me is Nana. Uh, Nana's one of the guides here that uh, helps you enjoy this wonderful experience. Uh, in terms of the, the situation, how long have you been open? Um, so in Pattaya, uh, we've been open for seven years. Seven years? Yeah, but this is the third location that we've been moving so far. Oh, okay, uh, so you've, this is the third location here in Pattaya? Yeah. Uh, okay, and oh, you've got seven elephants right now. I know you said earlier that that changes depending on whether the you know, elephants move on. In terms of the seven elephants you've got here now, I mean, they, they must eat a huge amount of food. Mm -hmm, yes, so elephant um, uh, in one day they need about like 10% uh, of their own body weight. Of their own body weight? Yeah, so about two up to 300 kilograms. Yep. So they need 20 kilograms of food? Uh, no, but two uh, to 300 kilo a day. Two to 300 kilograms a day mm -hmm. for, that, for the elephant. I mean, how, how on earth do you fund that? Uh, so as we are the uh, private, yeah. like a private, and some people, uh, some people might think that oh, you are not the real sanctuary. You still business. Yes, we are still business, but it's caring business. Yeah. And the money, I would say ninety percent, uh, is come from the people who who bought the ticket to yeah. visit us. And one of the things I noticed, and it's really really noticeable, is that the elephants are not chained up. You know, when you go to the tourist attraction, you see them chained on their feet mm -hmm. uh, and they're restricted in where they can move. I mean, these elements stand freely. I mean, are yeah. you not worried they're going to, like, wander off? Uh, well, uh, so all of them, just like human, that their, their personal are different. Some could be, like, um, uh, a kid elephant. Yeah. Some naughty. Some could be naughty. <laughs> yeah. Some could be aggressive. But, uh, so... But first of all, I tell you that you see elephant freely because of um, uh, they have uh, free roaming during the day. Yeah. But I'm not gonna say like we don't tie them up at all. So we have to keep them in the night. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah so we keep them in the night, but in the daytime they, they are free. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, this is why they don't have really stress. And the sanctuary, um, I would say maximum. Our elephant will get to uh, be with people like this maximum five hours. Five so hours a day. Yeah, so they have like free time. Free time to relax. Yeah, and then um, with people. So we don't let people go to them all the time. Yeah. Uh -huh. Go to them all the time. This is, I think, uh, the reason why they don't uh, really like stress and. Mm. Uh, They're very calm. They're they very are, calm. They are very calm. And this sanctuary, um, so elephant. Uh, will decide what they want to do. Like mm. we have a uh, water and bedding elephant, but 
everything is belong to them. Well, I've learned something new today because mm -hmm. I never realized that an elephant with the pineapple takes the pineapple and breaks it off. That was brilliant how they do that. I never knew they did that. Well, if you come like um, earlier when they first came here, they eat the whole thing. Oh, right, okay. But I think they know that, uh, okay, first their life is getting better and they know yeah. that they're going to get fit. Uh -huh, they have a lot of food, yeah. so they become very picky. So who's the oldest elephant here? Uh, at the moment, uh, Punsap, the lady over there. There you uh, go, that's the elephant. Yeah. Is that one on the left or on the right? Uh, on the left. On the left, so uh, the elephant, the and how old is she? Uh, so she is nearly 50. 50? Yeah. Nearly the same age as me then, mm -hmm. I'm 57. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and she just arrived here one month ago. Well, so she's nearly 50, I'm 57, she looks much better than me. <laughs> healthy, healthy. Well, brilliant. Well, thank you so much for your okay. time, Nana. Guys, come up, come and say hello to Nana and, uh, you know, the staff here. It's really, really nice. Uh, you're definitely going to enjoy your experience. And all the details, like I say, will be down in the description below. Uh, but now, we're going to go and do some uh, bathing. Uh, so we're going to uh, be making elephant vitamin. Oh, it's yeah, with the dung? Snack. With the dung? No. Oh, sorry. It's I've... elephant vitamin that we're going to be feeding. It's okay. healthy snack. Yeah, and then we're going to go swimming. Yes, yeah, sir. Right, there we are, back in a minute. Okay, and they eat 10% of their own body weight, so about uh, two up to three hours, uh, sorry, two up to 300 kilograms a day. 60% of the food that they eat is fiberglass, because of elephant only have one stomach. Okay, and it's good at that just fiber. And then 30% they will get fruit, and 10% will be this one, supplement. So this elephant who born and raised by people, so people feed them. Uh, they don't know how to survive. Ah, okay, and everybody about lifespan, how long can they live? Life very similar to human or maybe longer than us because no stress. Yes, ah, okay, no work. <laughs> All right, so life average for this elephant about 60, 70, but now the oldest under our care, she is in Phuket, 80 years old. Ah, okay, depends on the way that you treat them. If you treat them good, take a good care of them, I believe that they will live like longer. Okay, and about the pregnancy, two years pregnant. Oh, okay, two years long. pregnant. Two years long? Oh, very long. Oh, ah, okay, very hard. All right, so they also can have twin baby if you don't know. Okay, in Thailand we have twin elephant. Okay, and one female lifetime, she can have about maybe four or five babies for for her whole life because of two years pregnant. Three, four years taking care of baby, feed baby, and then another year, uh, she might take the whole year to find a new man. Yeah, that's I left. <laughs> nah, okay, so it's a nature of elephant that you don't see the, uh, they are together as a parent and taking care of baby. Okay, the one who live in the pack, the group, mostly are female. <coughs> and even the baby born as a boy, when he grow up, the family will kick him out. Ah, okay, because of, uh, as you know, male elephant personality is more strong. That might breed in the same family or hurt in the same family, fight together. Okay, that's why we don't have male elephant, we don't have baby yet. Yeah, because we don't walk, walk around with a big foot and we can't run. Ah, okay, so everybody, and about the vitamin that we're going to make, this one, it's just like regular vitamin, could be just healthy snack for them. Now, before we mix everything together, I show you what we got. Okay, so first of all, we have banana, and this one is animal supplement. Okay, animal supplement, and then we add some sour tamarind this one okay the sour tamarind will help elephant to drink water and it's very good uh, to work with salt as well going to make them thirsty because one day the weather is hot they're supposed to drink about like 100 liters of water but they don't so this one will help and also the tamarind is very good about digest okay if you have a problem about going to toilet eat the whole thing <laughs> ah, tomorrow you're not able to go anywhere ah, okay so this one is good and this one also i think everybody used to eat this one because it's uh patai sauce as well from tamarind ah, and we put in the soup to make it sour ah, all right and then we add some coconut sugar ah, okay the coconut sugar and last thing okay very important that we feed this on the rice, rice. rice. Yeah, they are Asian. <laughs> ah, okay, right? <laughs> no rice, no luck. <laughs> ah, okay, so, I, all right, and next we're going to mix everything together. But I tell you, again, the vitamin depends on uh, what we can find in our area. If you visit other places, there might dif uh, be different vitamin. Okay, and depends on what age they are. Ah, okay, so everybody, next we're going to mix all stuff together because of elephant, they, they don't really like salty. They, 
the people sweet. Mm -hmm. Now, if you go up to elephant and put salt in the mouth, that elephant hate you for forever. <laughs> <laughs> elephant never forget, you know that, right? Okay, but they do forget. Actually, the reason that they have long memory because their brain is bigger than us, and the reason that they don't forget because they choose not to forget. If you treat them good ten times, maybe they still forget you. But if you treat them bad once, they never forget you. So Nana just explained there about uh, how they make the vitamins. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's a little bit crowded. Everyone wants to get a part of it. So uh, me and Coops have stood back just watching them swarm around. Let me do it, let me do it, let me do it. But uh, anyway, the good news is that the elephants will get it, whatever happens. And uh, right now, they're mixing it all up. And apparently tamarind, if you, uh, if you need to go to the toilet, is your, is your go-to medicine. Never knew that. So we'll let them make these, we'll feed the uh, elephants, then I believe we're going to go back, get changed. Then we're going to go out into the mud, the mud pit and uh, have a play around. Then we'll have some, some uh, lunch and then we'll make our way back. So let's let, let them do this and then once they're doing the feeding, we'll show you that and go from there. But uh, I, would, I would try and get some more footage for you guys, but I think I'm in fear of my life if I go in there. They may want to tear me apart for taking part of their, uh, their, their process. So now we're heading over to the mud pit and to their swimming pool. And one of the nice things that Nana said, which I thought was really nice, is it's up to the elephants. This isn't a pre-planned entertainment show. What she said was that the elephants here, they can go in if they want to go in. If they don't want to go in, they don't have to. And when they do go in, they can leave. And the reason why they like this, uh, let me spin around. So the reason why they like doing this activity is because they don't have any sweat glands and their skin is very, very thick. So meaning that they can't expire any, uh, any uh, water from their body to cool down. So when they do this, this is their opportunity just to relax. And you can see there, look, the other day he's already had a good old go. Let's have a walk up there. And then after they've done the mud, they'll go over to this side here. This side here is the, uh, the, the swimming pool. So I'm gonna go and have a bit of fun with the elephants and uh, see what, what's, uh, what mess I can get myself into. I'm looking forward to this. Oh, I don't, uh. God, Coops, get in there, mate. Go, go and get in there amongst your animals, go on. <laughs> but I really like the concept that this is down to the animals. It's up to them. If they go in, they go in. If they don't, they don't. And you can look around there, you can see they're patting them on the trunks. Right. Look at this, there's a right old bath there. Yeah. You want to get yourself some, some mud on there, dude. Look at that. It's caked in it. Brilliant. How nice. And we were warned as well when you go in here, uh, be careful that they like to spray the mud around, etc. So, uh, right, I'm going to go and get up, up close and personal. I've got to say, that was absolutely brilliant, that was great fun. Uh, in there with the elephants, uh, splashing around, it was just great, great fun. Definitely so far the highlight of uh, my activity this morning and well, well worth uh, coming up here for that. To just go in there and interact with the elephants and just to, you know, just to be with them and to play. And uh, it was just brilliant, you know, everyone's having a great time. There was lots of us enjoying it. Uh, obviously you must make sure you bring a change of clothing because you are going to get soaking wet. But it was just fantastic, you know, the elephants were just so nice, so gentle. They're in there sunbathing, well not sunbathing, but scrubbing themselves down, washing themselves down. And like they said, you know, the elephants were free to roam in and roam out as and when they pleased. They were not under any instructions to stay in just to keep the tourists here that are happy. Uh, none of that. And you can see now right behind me, this one here, he's just about to leave. But it was just all in all great, great fun. It was really, really good. And it's surprising how, even though these animals are so powerful, so big, it's surprising just how gentle they really are and how much fun they are. Look, he's off now. Have a great day, my friend. But highly, highly recommend this. Uh, it really is. It's just a breath of fresh air, being away from the normal stuff, the activities that we go out for. You know, if you come up here, you're in beautiful surroundings. It really is a very, very nice experience and uh, one that I will remember for a long time to come, a long, long time to come. To be actually in there swimming with them, oh, just different gravy. Anyway, we're going to head back now. Uh, once we head back, then we're going to do some uh, other bits and pieces. And uh, that'll be pretty much near the end of what we've done today. But so far, so good. So, uh, the food was really nice. Uh, a lot of selection there. 
freshly cooked and it was very nice it was hot as well which makes a nice change sometimes with buffets they're a little bit cold but the food was really good really nice and uh very enjoyable after that once we'd had our food uh, we sat down for about half an hour then we came down to where they show you how they recycle the elephant uh, dung and they make it into different paper products which was quite interesting to see how they do that very resourceful so that's it for today i hope you've enjoyed today's video like i say guys you know come out do things differently try different things you know this one here it's a it's a what i call a turnkey project they'll pick you up in the morning they'll bring you out here they'll show you around they'll do all the activities that we've taken part in and the water that was just great fun bathing with the elephants uh, i've got to say it was probably one of the highlights of my 11 years of being here it really was great fun uh, but they do all of that for you everything's taken care of and then they'll just simply take you back home and uh, jobs are good and then away you go so you know have a look guys i'll put all the details in the description down below come out and uh, have a really good day so that's it for today's video i hope you've enjoyed it uh, as always please remember hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when i bring out a video please remember if you are a paying uh, member to the channel you're helping support the channel remember to change your paypal email address to tnightster at gmail.com the other one is now closed so please remember to change across to that for me guys that much appreciated have a look on our instagram if you like the nightlife here check out our instagram uh, please remember to follow us on that uh, strength of strength gives me a lot of opportunities to go out there and speak to bar owners and, and stuff and get nightlife videos for you likewise with tiktok tiktok's all about daytime restaurants hotel reviews all those kind of things so check us out on there all right thank you very much for watching and as always guys please wherever you are in the world Stay safe.